The name's Poison. Poison Ivy. Ah! Looks like my vines have a little crush on you. <laughs> Holy smokes, Batman! Like I told Lady Freeze before I pulled her plug, this is a one-woman show. Holy vines, Batman. <laughs> I got makeup on like poison ivy. Ay, 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 ay. I got two wigs on for you to see. I glued leaves on top of my eyebrow. I spilled glue twice and I said, Holy cow! Ay, 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 ay. My hair kinda looks like Shakira. Ay, 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 ay. And I sing like a senorita. I've been looking for you. And welcome to Off the Vine with Poison Ivy, the craft show that teaches you more than how to make a pot holder out of an old pair of pants. What we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to make my leafy mask that you see above my eyebrows. What you got to do is get yourself one of these. It's a little ivy plant as you can see. What I do is I just rip this stem right off like this. Then we got a little bit of trouble. I can't glue these on my eyebrow with these plastic stems on the back. What am I going to do? I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to take this little leaf like so. You take the outer edge and you pull this little piece right off. You do that to each little leaf stem until you get it all loosened up. Once you do that, we're almost ready to glue it onto our eye. Then you pull it all the way off so you got a leaf just like, why is this not in focus? There we go. Then you're going to trim it to the shape of your eyebrow. This is the shiny side, which I do not like so much. Maybe I better go back here. So I turned the dull side over. I held it up against my eyebrow. And then I take the scissors and I trim it in the shape of my eyebrow that I'm going to glue it down on. Then you don't want to glue this whole thing on your face because that would look weird like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut each little piece off like that. We're going to trim him off just like so. Then I'm going to glue him on like this if I'm gluing on my face and I'm going to overlap the next one. You glue it on with spirit gum. You can get it at any one of those costume stores that are around town right now. You can also get it at makeup supply places. Where? Where do I find them? You can go to namies.com. All right, we're back with more crafts with poison ivy. What I did to make these cones on top of my head was I took some foil. You're also gonna need some sort of round object. I happen to have a basket of fake lemons in my kitchen. I don't know why, but they look really real like this. You take the said lemon, you pull off a piece of foil about that big, tear it off with my muscle. Then, I place the lemon in the center of the foil. I bring all the sides up, and I make it into a cone shape. Then you can be a true cone head. Make two of these, one for each side. There's your crafts. I hope you like it. We'll see you next time. This is Poison Ivy, off the vine. Bye now. You can call me Poison, Poison Ivy. But really, it's just candy. Hi guys, this is our a very requested Poison Ivy look. Um, I will show you some of the, uh, <laughs> what I did to get this look with the hair. We're going to have a little, a little craft section with Poison Ivy to show you how to do this. I hope you guys like it. It was super requested. You can watch my video on how to glue on false eyelashes. Also the video on how to get flawless foundation from the Megan Fox video I did for flawless face. And then this is the wig that you will see in my Queen of Hearts video as well as the Jessica Rabbit video. It's such a multi-purpose wig. I actually have two of these babies on. So let's get a crack and show you how to do this. I really love this look. Can I say that again? I hate this part when there's only one eye. I think it looks so weird. We're gonna start with this eye. I have so much glue from gluing these on. I'm so sticky, but I will show you what we're gonna use to get started. So I primed my eye. I'm using the Makeup Forever Flash Palette and I'm just gonna use yellow. You can use your finger. If you have any other kind of yellow, anything that will work too. And we're just going to put this all over the lower part of the lid because the lower part was yellow and then up here was yellow. And in the middle is a red, orange, hot, pinky kind of color. So we pat this all on. Now, if you don't have red, you can use a red lipstick, a red lip liner, whatever you have that's red. I'm going to use the actual red color that's in here. Come on, get going. And I'm just going to go right from the crease upwards.
Now this is kind of similar to the Cleopatra look that I did. You're just going to go up here in the front and this is going to go all the way in towards the bridge of the nose. And I'm just going to try to draw a straight line down. Uma Thurman that plays Poison Ivy and Batman has a very straight nose so we're going to kind of try to replicate this. I'm going to get a little more red on this side too. And then fill all the way in. You can blend this out with our finger. We're just going to go along this line. And I'm kind of going to do a swoopy sort of leaf looking ending right here. So this is going to curve up to the corner of the eyebrows. And then this bottom side is going to match. It's so hard to talk because I feel like my mouth moves so much when I talk. Okay. We'll go up to the eyebrows. And there's our red. Now I'm just going to blend this down. Just kind of pat it and rub it. Go down the nose a little bit more. Now you can take any bright yellows that you have. These are two yellows. This is a bright yellow and then bright future from MAC. These two are yellows. I'm also going to be using my Yabby palette and I'm going to be using all of these colors in the look. This bright yellow, orange, these hot pink and oranges too. And I have some other fun. These are from MAC. This is rose gold, uh, reflects rust. Ooh, look at that color. And then these are from Naked Cosmetics. This is 02. And then this one is, I'm guessing, 03. Very rusty colors too. And also, this little Natural Flare Mineralized Eyeshadow Quad. Okay, so you can take a white um, eyeliner. And I'm just going to go right underneath the brow and make it a little highlighted under there. Then I'm going to take my bright yellow. And I'm going to pat in the center and up under the eyebrow right there. Pretty. I'm going to take my slightly more golden yellow and I'm going to go out to the corners. And we'll come back and do more shading with our orange. You can take this bright neon orange. And I'm just going to go right underneath the eyebrow to shade and just kind of tap it down. Same thing over here. And then go from the corners too. So just like when you're shading, like when you're a kid in a coloring book. Just, it's really, it makes it really fun that way. Put the orange right here. Put a little yellow. Now we're going to go with our bright pinks and reds. So I'm going to take my quad from MAC, the Natural Flare Mineralize. I'm going to take the brightest orange. And I'm going to go over all of this underneath the red part. You can use a lip liner or lipstick to do this too. I'm going to take these two and I'm going to go in the crease I'm going to follow this edge up here with the hot pink I'm going to take this naked, this kind of orangey rusty color and this has just a little bit of a sheen so it's going to add a pretty highlight put down the nose with that one too then you're going to take a hot pink blush. Hot pink and a brick red together. And I'm just going to follow this line. Ooh, we're getting so red and leafy. I feel like Father Fall or the Queen of Fall. 
Then just shade here a little more. And go into this crease because we want the crease to look darker. You can go in with some black too. Now for underneath on the eyelid, we're also going to take that same bright orangey color. Our little quad palette. The bright orange. And I'm just going to go right down from the crease in the corners, in this corner. Then I'm gonna get my bright, bright, bright yellow again, like this guy. I'm gonna pat him down right against the lashes. Just in this center part, we want this highlighted yellow. Now we're gonna take a black liner and line the inner rims of the eye. the tops too. Then I'm going to take this is Foxy Lady from MAC. It's a dark red color that needs to be sharpened. Yeah. And I go underneath the eye. Sorry, you're seeing like right up my nose. Go all the way out to the edge. And go all the way into the corner and then kind of turn it down towards the nose. I'm also going to do the top of the eye. The crumbly pen. It's a coal one, they just crumble right apart. Now you can take some liquid liner or a black uh, pencil and we're going to do kind of cartoon shaped eye drawing where we're going to go straight up flat and then down on the sides. So you're going to lay this down right there and then go up and make a So we, before I put our um, mascara on because you don't want to get this, this is the Reflex Rust. It's a really bright reddish color and I'm going to go just pat it and press. Don't smear it. Push it in Otherwise, you're going to get the glitter all over you. And we're just doing this near the outer corners, the outer edges of the red, so it's really sparkly. Press these outer corners. We want this to be real razzle-dazzle. Now we're going to curl our lashes and put mascara on, and I'll be right back. Look at these awesome lashes. These are, I don't know where you get these. They are from, they're 316s. Oh, I got these at Namies. Go to namies.com, N-A-I-M-I-E-S.com. I'm gonna glue these on. You can watch my video on how to put fake eyelashes on and I'll be right back. While the eye is gluing, I'm gonna take Sketch, which is like a dark purpley plum, and I'm just gonna go underneath the eye. Lashes on. You can go over your glue or any wobbly spots with the liquid liner again. Give it a little wobbly. Now we're gonna do our lips and I have two colors. I have a hot pink Aqualip 16C and 17C from Makeup Forever. So I'm gonna go over with the hot pink first. And her lips are very full. We want the edges to be really hot pinky and glowy because that's exactly how her mouth looked in the Batman movie. If you don't believe me, watch the close-up scene of the deadly kiss with Robin. So for the next step, this is my Cryolan mini lip palette. It's the pinks and frosty colors. I'm going to be using this copper color and probably this other gold, burnt gold color. So I'm going to first take this burnt gold bronzy color. Any color you have like this will actually work. And we're going to go from the corners. And slightly go over our hot pink. Now we're going to take the light orangey color. And go right. And to highlight the center right here.
You can even take um, one of these colors. I'm going to take this light goldy color. And I'm going to pat it right in the center to give it a really golden look. And go all the way down here. Also do the same. Oh, another nostril shot. Nice. In the inside. And if you're feeling extra dazzly, take the yellow and just rub it on the very top right there. And it will make your color stay on forever. If you want to do an extra definition step, take a dark brown, this is or plum from MAC, and go right on the edge. Make sure you get the corners really well. It'll make it look puckered and big. And now I'm going to take a really, as orangey blush as I have, this corally one from MAC. We're going to keep with our orangey theme. And again, go right in the hollows of the cheekbones for her cartoony look. Corner them out to the top of the ear. Blend back into the hairline. And then just for extra dimension for the cartoon look, Blunt from MAC. It's my favorite matte. Um, shading and contouring tool just way towards the back you can even do a little curve under the nose now I'm going to show you the crazy leaves oh my goodness get ready so you're going to take your leaf pieces and since we want them to flare out this way I've turned mine the other way because this side's shiny I alternated kind of so you're going to lay it down on your eyebrow to cover it up and then you're going to see where you want to trim it in the shape of your eyebrow so like this but now we want them to overlap. We don't want to just glue this whole band. So I'm going to cut this here and then overlap them. Are you ready to glue our first leafy on? I'm using spirit gum because it's not as um, harsh on your skin as the individual eyelash glue would be. You can get this at any um, like Halloween costume store. You can get it online at a makeup supply place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush it right on top of my eyebrows. It's totally safe to get on hair. The remover is going to get it right off. And then I'm going to go a little bit above. And then the thing about spirit gum is you have to tap it to activate it and you'll feel it'll get kind of tacky. So will your fingers. So once you feel it's tacky and you can see like little strings coming off it or where it's like that. Look at it pull up my skin. Yeah. Now we're ready to glue this baby down. I forgot to warn you I'm in the very um I've been told I was in an extra crazy mood today. So I'm going to put a little spirit gum and I just paint it right on here because you want to get this guy a little, he's a little dry so he might not stick to the tack. So we'll get him all ready. And now, oh, okay. Now we're going to place him right on top of our eyebrow and then hold him down. You can put um, powder or something on your finger so it doesn't stick as much and then just press it down. Oh, we got a bent leaf. He's so bent. Now we're going to get our next piece like this, cut him again, and we're going to start to overlap. So I'm going to do it a little quicker, otherwise this is going to take forever and you're going to hate watching my long videos. So I'll be right back. We'll do an eyebrow dance break. Are you ready for a wig? I will show you how I did this wig. It's gonna take two wigs. The Veronica leg wig, 
and this fringy one. in our hair. I think this is one of my favorite looks. Um, this will be really fun to getting to take the eyebrows off. I should take that as well. That would be a little treat. Um, so I hope you guys like this. Keep all your requests coming. Um, in the comments below, let me know any looks that you guys would like me to see. I'm going to try to do as many as I possibly can because these are so much fun. Um, you can get your leaves at the craft store and... Um, and keep requesting your looks. Have an awesome day, guys. Um, just start playing. Remember, if you ever feel like you're going to make a mess or things aren't coming out right, it's just art. So you can always like um, erase it, take it off, smudge it, fix things, re-glue, whatever, till you get it right. Every time I do something, I'm like, ooh, is this going to even come out right? And then I end up usually surprising myself at the end. I'm like, wow, I really kind of like it. So um, I hope you guys like it, too. Have an awesome and beautiful day. Um, so much love. Thank you so much for your awesome comments. You guys are the best viewers, video watchers, friends, part of my blog family I could ever, ever ask for. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Ebony and Abby live together in perfect harmony. It's driving me out of my head. Kiss her, miss her, love her. Girl is poison. Ah ha ha ha. I've had the time of my life, and I owe it all to you. Ay 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 ay. I got makeup on like poison ivy.